hello friends welcome to selenium tutorial uh, this is video 2 uh, in this video i'll talk about how to download and install uh, we, we we cannot say install uh, how to download and configure selenium web in my last video i spoke about uh, what is selenium what are the components of selenium so the selenium web driver is one of the components of uh, selenium right and which is mostly used so uh, let us see how can we download and configure selenium web driver so i as i said in my last lecture selenium web driver selenium is not a tool which we can download and install it is a set of jar files right so it is a collection of jar files which we need to uh, use it in a eclipse or any other ide right so this is my blog testautomator.in on my blog I have already written a post how to download selenium web driver and configure it in a eclipse right so uh, you can refer this post uh, uh, prerequisite to download and configure web driver in eclipse IDE or uh, in your machine is you should have JDK or JRE installed in your machine right so make sure that this JDK or JRE is installed in your machine you can verify this from go to your C drive program files go to Java and here you can find JDK and JRE so make sure that it is installed in your machine if not then go and install it in your machine then next one is you should have installed Eclipse you, you should have installed any of the IDE which you will be using for coding right so in my first tutorial I I told you like we can have any programming language from Java Python C hash right so for coding the language we need any IDE integrated development environment uh, so you can have Eclipse, NetBean or IntelliJ or any other IDE which you have right so this, these are the basic prerequisite now I have uh, Eclipse installed in on my machine so I'll go along with this Eclipse now how to download Selenium WebDriver jar file so to download Selenium WebDriver jar file you can go to Selenium HQ website Selenium selenimhq.org download then uh, here you can find a selenium standalone server and selenium client web and web driver right so if you want a standalone which is a single jar you can go here and if you want a setup jar for java go here and download so the latest version is 3.6 so if you download this you will get a latest version of selenium java 3.6 version now <coughs> what if you want older version if you want older version then you can go to this link from uh, my blog okay you should find it here as well go to previous releases yeah it's the same so here you can find all the previous releases of selenium starting from release 2.9 so on my machine I am using 2.53 jar so I have the jar already download and uh, downloaded and are present in my system this is selenium 2.53.1 jar so these are the jar files right so once you have downloaded the jar files extract it to some folder some folder and uh, yeah you have downloaded the jar files now next part is configure the jar files configure the selenium files which you have downloaded in your projects so I am using Eclipse IDE I am using Eclipse IDE so you should be a little bit fam familiar about this Eclipse IDE and this Eclipse IDE wha what's there is before we write any code we should create a project 
we should create a project and I'm going to create a Java project and I'll give the name as demo project one I'm give the name I'll give the name as demo project one you can change the location if you want I want the default location to my uh, within my workspace then you can use the JRE which you want to use I want my default JRE which is 1.8 <coughs> sorry and uh, yeah so can cl simply click on finish so before we write a code we need to create a project and then within a project we need to create a package so this is how uh, this uh, J projects in Java work once you have created a project you can see something called a source right bin and source right so under <laughs> under source what you can do is you can create a package right click and go to new and package so within a project you need to create a package and you can give some meaningful package name as uh, I'll, I'll give here demo package so you can give a meaningful name for your project I'll give demo package so package is nothing but okay I'll explain this later so once you have created a package go and create new class I'll give it as a sam demo class and So you can find the color of uh, this icon of this package will be the square and uh, with uh, lines in between right and this is a class so the structure of the Java project will be project package and class right so class is nothing but where we will be doing our actual coding so this is demo class this is demo class here I'll be doing my actual coding and this collection of classes that is a collection of classes is nothing but a package and package is within a project right so now you are done with the project now what you need to do is we need to use the jar files which we have downloaded I have kept these jar files over here C drive and jars so what we can do is right click on the project what I am doing is now I am configuring the jar files which we have downloaded I am configuring selenium jar files so for that right click on the project to go to build path and go to configure build path here you can find a libraries tab under libraries tab go to add external jars we are adding external jar files right so I want in C drive I have uh, jars and selenium jars so I'll add these two jars then we have few more jars in this lips folder I'll add all the jars and yeah that's it so we are configured jar uh, jar files in selenium uh, sorry jar files in eclipse IDE so what you can do is okay that's fine all done uh, so simply click on apply and okay now yeah that's it yeah good to start with your first program in selenium fab driver right so this is how we can download the jar files download the selenium and configure it in eclipse ide right so you can find the instruction on my this page how to download selenium on testautomator.n i've explained it in detail with screenshots right if you have any questions do post your comments and uh, yeah thanks i'll come up with uh, next videos I keep watching my blog thanks